What up everybody, welcome back to a pretty random trade up video, but as you can see, despite the fact it's random, it is definitely not cheap. Look at all of these crazy items. It just goes on and on and on. So I had some items left over from all the trade up contracts that I've been recently doing. Actually, a lot of items. Unfortunately, the stat track factory new fire serpent trade up video is not yet released and public on my channel so i don't know whether i've got the 30,000 likes or not i need to actually go for these ak-47 case hardened blue gems but for today's video we're going to start off at the industrial grades i'm going to put these in two or three contracts and i would be hoping to get the all hot rod or the negative anodized navy from these but after we have done these mil spec trade ups we will be hoping to get either the chalice or the hand cannon aka the cobblestone collection and I think you guys know why we're going for the cobblestone collection. Because after the mill specs are done, we are going to be upgrading to the restricted category where I have all of these chalices, putting them into a contract with the hopes of getting a knight. Now knights are actually so incredibly expensive compared to dragon laws. A factory new knight at the moment is selling for like $800. So if we manage to get one of them for a trade up, I might actually keep it because I don't have any knights in my inventory. And it'd be really cool just to have one that I can save for my collection. But don't you worry, after the restricted trade ups comes, you guessed it, the classified trade ups. For the classified trade ups, I just have ridiculous, ridiculous items to put in there. Honestly, so expensive, all of them. We got the Negev Molnir for the chance at the Gungnir. We have the AK-47 Hydroponic for the chance at the Akibara Accept, which is over a thousand in Factory New. We have the MP9 Wild Lilies in Minimal Wear for the shot at the AK-47 Wild Lotus. Quite a hard gun to get in Factory New. And we have some Graphites, obviously still trying to get that Fire Serpent, even though we got us nice factory new stat check one we've even got a knight i know i said i didn't have one in my inventory i do have one in my inventory but i bought this one specifically for trade-ups i didn't create it myself so it's not quite the same that's why i'm not keeping it oh and i also forgot we got poseidon for a shot at the medusa which is also ridiculously expensive so if you guys appreciate all the money that i've spent on this video it's probably in excess of three or four thousand I definitely have a problem <laughs> Let's say 20,000 likes and I will give away something good that I get out of these trade-offs. That's if I get anything good out of these trade-offs. It could all go wrong, I guess. But now you guys know exactly what's going on and exactly what I plan to achieve with this video. Let's go for a nice 50-50 for the Negev and Dice Navy or the Hot Rod. Every item that I'm using in the contracts that isn't like the crazy valuable expensive items have ridiculously good floats. Look at this, 0.0002, is that how many noughts? There are so many noughts, I don't even know how many noughts there are. So our very first contract of the video Anything that comes out of this is going to be very low float. We really, really don't want it to hit the high beam block or the green apple. I'm not fancying a tuxedo today. I would much rather have a hot rod or an anodized navy. They're actually so expensive. So let's go. Very first contract, 50-50. Please show me an anodized navy or a hot rod. Please. Oh, that's exactly what I specifically said I didn't want. Another 50-50 coming in here. We've got all our 5-7 candy apples. And we need to hit something from this collection, the Assault Collection, for a shot at the Glock Fade. Please don't let me down on another 50-50. Anodized Navy, that's what we want to see. Let's go. We really got to get one. So I'm going to put seven candy apples into the contract. And it's going to look a little bit like this. I'm really hoping this time, 70%, we get something from the Assault Collection for a shot at the Hot Rod. Come on, let's go. Yes, nice. Finally, the Hot Rod. If I lost that 70%, I was going to be very upset. Let's have a look at the float of our Hot Rod. It's not bad, 0.003. Moving one class up to the mill spec trade-ups. We're obviously hoping to get the chalice or the hand cannon from this. These are gonna have to be two times 40% because I don't have enough chain mails for any more. Okay, all of our crazy low float items in here, 40%, let's go. Ah! Ooh, that's not good. And this is what our second trade-up looks like. 40%. Cobblestone collection. Factory new. Let's go. Chalice or hand cannon. Boom. Yes, that's what we want. Let's have a quick look at the float of this chalice because it's going to be good. Oh, oh, look at that float. Moving on. It's getting riskier and riskier and riskier. The restricted trade-ups. This is going to be a little bit of an interesting one as well because I'm going to add this flame your mongander. <laughs> that's definitely not how you say it. But I tried my best. And we are going to get a shot at the Negev 
Molnir if that hits, which would be very, very cool. Put some more chalices in there. Put our very sexy float chalice in there too. And this is what the restricted trade up looks like. And this is how I'm going to set it up. Just lots of chalices just to try and make sure that we get that knight. We have a 60% for the knight. We have a 10% for the Molnir. And we have a 30% for absolute garbage that we really do not want. If I get this knight, last day, you're going to give me the luck that I need, bro. If I get this knight, I'm keeping it, remember? I'm not trading it up because I already have one to trade up. It is night time. <laughs> time to say night, night. Oh no, that's so devastating, bro. That's so devastating. The 70% at something good just not coming through whatsoever. I have a feeling there's going to be some people in the comments saying, you're doing the trade up contracts wrong. But at the end of the day, they're all just theories. I don't think anything has been 100% proven and I don't think Valve has really released any good data on trade ups in general. So I might have done that one a little bit wrong, that last one. Latte, you didn't give me the luck that I needed. You said you were going to do it and then you ran off and now you're just getting on my lap. Come on, bro. I'm going to zoom out my camera a little bit so that you can see Latte on my lap. There we go. I'm very far away now. Hello, everyone. I've just noticed that this one of Lily's called N95 Mars. A strange thing to name your gun. Let's do one more restricted trade up. This time it's going to be a stat track one. And I'm going to make it a little bit interesting. So let's add this overgrowth in, obviously from the Bravo collection. And then get all of our really low flow items in here as well. Love those 0.000000s. I'm also going to add for the final weapon this stat track USPS Dark Water. Actually, that's in field tested. Probably shouldn't do that. This stat track Glock 18 Dragon Tattoo. So we have a 10% as something from this collection, which is the Arms Deal Collection. As an Eagle Hypnotic, Case Harden's what we want. We want a nice stat track blue gem, which leaves us with 5%. Another 10% for the Bravo collection. This has three options. Ideally, we'll be wanting the P90 Emerald Dragon in Factory New, which gives us a 3.3 reoccurring percent, I believe. So overall, a 20% at something that could be half decent and more like a 7% at something that we actually want. This is not gonna go well, so I'm just gonna hit this instead. There we go, there's the Star Trek after image that I was talking about. Let's move on to our real big boy contracts, the classified section. And we're gonna have to get very personal and up close with this one. Yeah, it's very personal. Actually, sometimes I scare myself. Very first contract, we're gonna have two items from the Bravo collection. We're gonna put in a hydroponic as well, and we're gonna fill the rest with other very low float classified items. So this is what our contract has ended up looking like. 30% to choose from the collection that we would like. The Orb Akibara Accept would be so cool. The Fire Serpent in Factory New would be so cool. Wouldn't mind the Orb Lightning Strike too much. It would definitely be a loss, but it wouldn't be the worst loss ever because if it hits from the 5-7 Foul Play collection, we are screwed. So let's go Orb Akibara Accept or Factory New Fire Serpent. Boom. Oh, no way. It picked from the correct collection, obviously but it picked the wrong item. Let's have a look at the flow of that golden koi. Ah, that's upsetting. Right collection, wrong item. This time, we're throwing in a Molnir. It is in factory new, so we can get the factory new Gungnir from it. The absolute dream. Let's also add in a nice wild lily. And I think we might actually add in this Sinkweda as well. Fill the rest with Desert Eagle, Hypnotics, with very low floats. Let's go. This is what it looks like. Basically 30% at something good. But genuinely, if it hits any of these collections, it will be something good. It will be the Gungnir, it will be the Wild Lotus, or it will be the Orc Prince. And all of those items are absolutely sick. So let's hit the correct collection. There's no chance at a wrong item this time. Come on, please show me something. <laughs> Oh, shit. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I put in a lot of minimal wear items though into that contract, so I'm really hoping this is factory new. Oh, that is happy days. My goodness, I already have one of these in my inventory. I traded it up, but it was field tested. The factory new World Lotus sells for a lot of money. I can't tell how much on the Steam market because it's just maxed out. There's only one factory new available on Bitskins and that's selling for nearly 3,000. And what's the wear on this one? 0.057. What is the wear on my one? 0.02. That's honestly nearly as good as like a Dragon Lore. I really underestimated 
how amazing this thing was. But providing our next contracts go well, this video could actually end up in profit. <laughs> So this time, let's throw another hydroponic in there. It's actually field tested, which is going to bring our floats down a lot. So we're going to have to be careful to put in only really, really nice float weapons. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's put in another Molnir as well. And this is what this contract looks like. Wow. What a random pick and mix. Once again, a 30% as something good. We've got the Wild Lotus, we got the Akibara Accept, and we also have the Gungnir. Let's hit ourselves another 30%, come on. 30% coming up. <laughs> Next contract. I'm really disappointed by that last one. That was a big rip. Couple of stat track graphite orbs. We'll, we'll, ch we'll chuck in another one. Okay, we'll chuck in one more stat track graphite orb. This is what our contract is going to look like. Obviously, we are going for the stat track fire serpent. I'm not too sure whether if we manage to actually get the stat track fire serpent, it'll be in factory new or not. I think more likely it will be in minimal wear. But it is a 15% chance. I'm not going to be too upset with the orb lightning strike in factory new as well. Stat track, because that's quite an expensive skin. It'll cover a few of our losses obviously it'll still be lost overall let's go for that stat track factory new possibly minimal wear ak-47 fire serpent let's go oh it's not the worst outcome that has a very nice flow as well 0.002 we're actually doing so many crazy contracts this video hard to keep up all of our molniers are gone as well which is really sad i wanted that gun near we got a nice hydroponic here that i can chuck in and do we do it is this yeah i think it is this is the contract we're chucking in the night as well the they're so expensive, but we're doing it anyway. For the 10% at the Dragon Law, wouldn't that be incredible? And this is why it looks like Orp Lightning Strike and this contract is actually the worst thing that we could get. Overall, 40% to pick from the collection that we want. 10% at the Orp Dragon Law. 5% at the AK-47 Fire Serpent. 10% for the Akibara Accept. Hopefully in factory new if we get that. And another 10% for the AK-47 Wild Lotus. I really want this to hit the Dragon Law. I would be so happy. And I think we might be in profit if we hit the Dragon Law on this one. There's only one way to find out. And that's by pressing this big green proceed button. Dragon Law, let's go. And it picked from the Bravo, which is what we wanted, but it picked the Golden Koi once again. Let's go for another Stat Track Fire Serpent trade up. 20% as something from the Bravo collection. We've hit it twice this video already. Please don't be a Stat Track Golden Koi this time. 20% at the Lightning Strike in Factor New Stat Track. 60% for random bullshit that we don't want. Don't show me random bullshit. Oh no, I saw the AK and I thought we got the Fire Serpent again. That would have been so cool. To be fair, this isn't the worst outcome. I think it's definitely a loss, but it's a factory new AK-47 Neon Revolution and definitely something that I can give away to you guys. Okay. But I'll see what I can properly give away to you guys at the end of the video when I've completed all these contracts and I see how much profit and loss I've uh, probably lost, not made. <coughs> this time, we're going to be putting in a minimal wear Poseidon to the contract for the shot at the Medusa. The Poseidon, just like the Knight, incredibly expensive, incredibly rare. We'll also add a nice MP9 Wild Lily in there as well with another Desert Eagle Hypnotic. Why not chuck in an Orc Graphite? Let's hit that Bravo again. Let's get ourselves another Golden Koi. It's what life's all about. Finally, another minimal wear Wild Lily. 10% at Bravo. 5% Fire Serpent. 20% AK-47 Wild Lotus. 10% Orb. Medusa. Let's go. Something decent. Something big. That's what I want to see. What is that? What even is that? Absolutely terrible. We're chucking in my own Nega Molnir this time. Literally the one I've equipped, the one I used, the one in field tested that's going to bring all of the floats of this contract down. But I really want that Gungnir. I really want to hit a nice big juicy 10%. Let's also add in a Wild Lily. And this is what the contract looks like. Incredibly expensive, incredibly risky, but that's what we're all about here on this channel. 10% Nega Molnir could give us the Gungnir. 20% AK-47 Wild Lotus. 10% Fire Serpent. 30% Lightning Strike, not too bad. I really don't want to get the end boy for Buzzkill. This is the one. This is the collection that screwed us last time. Don't screw us again for the 20%. I'm going to be very mad. <laughs> I have to get some more items for this contract because I've run out of items. I'm just deleting all of my inventory incredibly quickly. And as you can see, these other weapons that I'm using to fill the contracts are really not cheap either. I'm not even going to begin to calculate how much this video has actually cost me because I think the answer would probably make me quite sad. Look, Warrell, he's greeting me, greeting me with good luck for this contract. 
we're going to put our two final remaining wild lilies in here. Fill the rest up with Desert Eagle Hypnotics for the 20% at the AK-47 Wild Lotus. You guys are absolutely going to kill me for trading up this weapon because it has Katowice 2014 Fnatic sticker on it. But this is obviously the worst placement possible because in-game you cannot see it. Your hand is just constantly over it and you can only see it if you hit the inspect button. So that's, that's a little bit of a saving grace, I guess. Probably not. Let's go. 20% AK-47 Wild Lotus. Probably going to show me an AWP lightning strike instead. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! I honestly did not predict that whatsoever. Awesome. What is that? Factory new again. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. And that is an awesome contract to end on, but you know me. I can't stop there. I gotta go ahead and do one final silly, silly thing. And that is this restricted stat track trader. Ideally, we're hoping for anything from the Bravo Collection, but we only have a 40% to hit it. Please, Bravo Collection, for the final trade-up. Let's go. <sighs> well, I'm pretty happy with what we got. We got two AK-47 Wild Lotus, both in Factory New. What is the flow of this one? 0.029. I think the first was better, yeah. First one was a little bit better. And how many other failed contracts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 15, 15 failed contracts. I'm honestly not too sure whether we're in profit, whether we're in loss. Don't think I actually want to know. Which means in this video, I do have quite a lot of skins to give away. Let's give away this Glock 18 Wasteland Rebel, this Statrak Orb Lightning Strike in Factory New, this Desert Evil Golden Koi, also this Desert Evil Golden Koi. Do not want these guys in my inventory at all. This Statrak AK-47 Neon Revolution, M4A4 Buzzkill, have you seen my cat in the back there just trying to open and attack the door? He always does this when I'm filming. He absolutely loves it. Oh, now he's leaving. Now the moment I, I decide to zoom in, he leaves. We'll also give away the Statrak Tech 9 Oh no, he's back at it again. So, a hell of a lot of items actually to give away this video. All to you guys, all for free. All you have to do, leave your trade link below in the comments. Someone messaged me recently saying they left their trade link in my comments and then literally two seconds later some bot was trying to scam them out of all of their items. But that is the risk if you publicly post your trade link in places. What I would personally recommend is downloading my plugin which is in the description which enables you to encrypt your trade link and then you can just post that encrypted version in the comments and then no bots can find out your trade link. Only I can find out and I'm not going to scam you, I'm just going to give you free stuff. But please be aware that if you are posting your trade link publicly down below in the comments, you could get quite a lot of people trying to scam you. I will only ever send you items. I will never take any items from you. I literally don't even accept donations from any of my viewers whatsoever. I feel like you guys already give me too much, so I don't want to be that person that's just taking more. That's partly kind of the reason I don't stream either, because then people can subscribe to me, and then people like give me money directly, or give me donations, or give me items, and I don't want any of that. I don't want you guys giving me a single thing. All I want to do is give to you. So bear that in mind and please, please, no one out there gets scammed. If you could be so kind as just to click that mouse button as well and leave a like on the video, it helps me ridiculous amounts in the whole YouTube algorithm thing. So if you want to give back to me, that's literally one great way of doing it. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video. Good luck in the giveaway below and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.